So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction and fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Identiscan malfunction rectified. The Luffy and I. Route 1 access unsealed. Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? Uh, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try, anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy! Anointed, anointed of, of the Nora! Nora. All, All praise Aloy! Aloy. No, 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 anointed no, no, no. of the Nora! Up! All, All praise Aloy! Aloy. Anointed, anointed of the Nora. Nora! First you shun me, now this? I will not be worshipped! I'm not your anointed! I don't belong to you! There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you, and it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for, not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way make for Aloy! Way. That she may forge the path for others to follow. Us all. I shouldn't stare. She's going to think I'm rude. 
I'm honored to meet you. Can't spare the weight. I'll find a use for you. Soaked from melted snow. Thank you. 
there. Good for an old remedy. to the mountain might be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted. Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is now? Ouch. I'd have to leave something else behind.
Stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side. Never know when I might need these.
Stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side. little plant. 
You'll help.
I'd have to ditch something. Do they think they're guarding Gaia? I doubt they think at all. More like an instinct, gathering them to a grave.
that up later.
over. Fight them. Guessing that I'm almost there. Correct. <laughs>
You've got Gaia.
sacrificed. It did this. Cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg. Yes, yes. Quickly now. I've prepared the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. This is exactly the kind of place I expelled. Thank you. It's one of years. There'll be enough time later for you to ransack this place. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. Looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in Meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... After seeing the damage, how could that be? She said... Any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But... do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? You know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. By the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years, and we're counting the time we have left by the hour. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sovac. You are cleared to proceed.
Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Mind your Don't free. count your chicken embryos before they're incubated, hon. She's still firing up. It'll be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You think we'd work in the same secret base long enough for you to notice? We were scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smug comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? You can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Here we go. That's my way across. <sighs> Don't think, Eloy. Just do it. I couldn't have said it better myself. That's over. <clears throat> Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. <laughs> Elizabeth. What 
restas. This is Charles Rodson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who would I signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh no... Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm... I'm no good at endings, at letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Goodbye. That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. survived Eloy, and her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. You think she was better because she was smart, because she designed Zero Dawn, but you missed the point. What made her great was that she was willing to sacrifice herself for others, for everyone who would come later. No. She couldn't let her creation fail. You're confusing will for sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. 
Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. <clears throat> I'm on my way. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. Control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, um, uh, please, stop trying to access the sense system, okay? See, see, what this is about is... Um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. 
what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're going to give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Planting atmosphere. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <sighs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we are living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Master Override. That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Keep holding. Another power cell. This should help me get to that ancient armor.
has come to. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire, not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission. To wake the machines, so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse... The robots they've resurrected... They're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the Jew. So you thought it was a Titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology it bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. 
I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing.
to tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire... Charcoal smoke from a dozen forges. Good work. tries to kill the Sun King, and Anora saves his life with my own eyes. Hmm, yes. I remember you. Did you find the vessels I seek? I'm convinced. But eat. But Are you sure? Drink. Yes, yes. Trade quick. I will leave you to the... Mm, yes, you look capable. Y you might do. Come here, if you will.
Sun and Shadow, you're the Nora who saved the Sun King. They say you tracked the Asaram assassin with your second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the Liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up all? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King. So when he fell, they ran to a venerable priest. My nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir. So that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Maybe Asaram tried to kill our son. God, not the town. We're letting the Osram take their vow. We don't have a place in the world. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon, from the west, with an ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but... Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have yes. to... Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm... I'm glad that's behind us. Now. It will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can.
quietly does it, panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parlay with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. A moment of your Outlander? I knew they'd catch Durval eventually. Let's see him tinker his.
tried to kill Sun King. Unbelievable. My fight still be alive. And you're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Must be Aloy then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throats so they can really roar. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. Looks with me. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. Just because he failed to kill the Sun King doesn't mean he's any less guilty. He should...
full already. Never know when I might need these. a bit. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen... many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen. From something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the Goddess says, or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I.
So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit them like a hammer till they can't hit back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. Rises taller than the highest tree. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word, 